you guys absolutely loved episode one of my hardcore series we ended up getting over 1 million views thank you guys so much for all of the support so drop a like on this video if you're excited for episode two my main goal for this episode is to explore the land to find the brand new goats and go underwater to capture some axolotls and i want to make a giant axolotl farm and try to get the very rare blue axolotl which is a 0.083 percent chance of spawning so it is extremely rare will i be lucky enough to get the blue axolotl well stay Stay tuned to find out. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Because all of these fish look kind of broken. They're waggling their tail, but they're not moving anywhere. But anyways, welcome back to episode two of my hardcore world. If you guys haven't seen the first episode yet, go check it out on the first link below. But in the first episode, I finished off by building this house. And I also collected the brand new 1.17 amethyst block. And just take a listen. That is one beautiful block right there. But there's only one major problem to this house. It's uh, kind of empty in here. It's pretty boring and there's nothing in here. So I'm going to have to fill up this entire house and decorate it and just move in, put my beds down, put some chests and call it my home. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe if you guys are new here and drop a like. That'll help me a lot. So thank you guys so much. However, I did forget one major thing about the brand new 1.17 update. I totally forgot to go find the brand new mobs that were added. In the first episode i never found a goat or the axolotl so the main goal in this episode is to find those two brand new mobs and also to make a giant axolotl farm because i want to have as many axolotls as possible they are so cute but first things first let's uh, move into this house because i'm tired of uh, living outside and being homeless my bed is literally outside on the sand while i have this amazing house so uh, let's start moving everything into the house and actually call it my home All right, this is what I got for the little chess room design. It's a nothing fancy, but hey, I'm a pretty simple guy and this will work. All right, so now I'm gonna move all of my items into my brand new chest room inside the house. All right, I moved all of my items into the new chest room and now I need a place to sleep. So I got two beds and I think I'm just gonna make my special room right over here in this corner. So let's grab some slabs or something. This is where all the magic will happen, right here. This is my special room. All right, these will be my fancy lights for my uh, night light right there and right there. And perfect timing, the sun is going down, so let's go to sleep. All right, but anyways, let's continue furnishing this entire house. All right, this is what I got so far. I got a little nice fancy kitchen right here. I got a sink with a lever for the faucet. I got a little cooking stove area with a nice um catcher thingy. I have no idea what this is called, but I'm sure you guys know what this is. Um, I got one cup right here. That's all I have. And two chairs for just myself. And I have no other friends. But turning around over here. You guys saw my bed and here's my little closet or my wardrobe. I have no other pairs of clothes and these are for my shoes and I got no other pairs of shoes. I am literally still basically poor. But now let's start exploring because I really want to find some axolotls and the goat. Actually, before we do that, I might need to go mining quickly because I only have two pieces of iron ingots and a bucket. I'm going to need the bucket to collect the axolotls. So let's go mining super quickly here. But, oh, I haven't seen this yet. I have not seen this block yet. I thought that, whoa, what is this? Hold on, let me mine this. It's dripstone. Oh, these are the cool blocks that like drip from the, 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 the top and it goes down. I have no idea, actually. But I'm surprised I haven't seen this block yet. It's pretty fancy. Whoa, there's more up there. That'd be real. Oh, whoa. It just fell from the sky. Look at this. That is, that is pretty cool. Okay, let's mine this up. Just a quick 10 second break. If you guys didn't know, I'm sponsored by G Fuel. So if you guys want to be a true gamer, use code cookie at checkout for 30% off or click the G Fuel link below. And maybe one day we'll get a special cookie flavor. So go get yourself some G Fuel because it tastes amazing. All right, back to the video. All right, but anyways, there's some iron, exactly what I was looking for. So let's collect this raw iron up. And with Fortune 3, it would be so much easier to get iron. But I, I, I'm uh, pretty far away from enchanting right now. I need to do a lot more work until I get some Fortune 3. Hey, do you guys remember this block from the first episode? It trolled me so hard. I thought it was a block, but they're just vines. That was uh, quite embarrassing on the first episode. Yeah, this is a dead end with a skeleton. I am out. Oh, yes, yeah, some more iron. And some more lasagna throw up. And my pickaxe just broke. Nice. Is there anything you can do with the raw copper other than making spyglass? Can I make it into a block? Oh, I could. Ooh, that looks disgusting. Ew. <laughs> that is actually a whole block of vomit. 
That looks disgusting. Um, there's a lot of mobs around here, so I gotta be really careful. Uh, where'd you come from? You have an enchanted bow. Where did you come from? You got a spider man on me. Yeah, let's cross this lava over here. Go away, zombie. Ow. Oh, these, these skeletons are dropping from the sky. What is happening? Oh, oh my god. Even more. What in the world? Go away. <laughs> Where are they coming from? It's like the movie Raining Meatballs, but it's uh, instead it's raining ske oh, instead it's raining skeletons. Oh, so this is where all the skeletons are coming from. What? Did that skeleton just hit himself off the cliff? What just happened? That skeleton really hit himself off of the cliff. I, that is so weird. I've never seen that, but uh, go away, please. And let's let's collect some water here just in case. Oh, there's another one over there. So that's where all the skeletons... Oh, there's two. Ow, ow fall off all right after some time mining i got a stack of 25 iron or raw iron this time because you know the new 1.17 update you don't get iron ingots anymore so i'm gonna have to smelt this up so let's slap down some furnaces and throw all this iron into the smelt and now we play the waiting game and i absolutely hate waiting i am so impatient so i'm quickly gonna go find a snack in the kitchen and go get some water so while i do that you guys should definitely take a break with me and go get some water and stay hydrated. Also, if you guys are going to get a snack, comment down below what you guys are going to eat. I'll be right back. All right, I am back after literally an hour. I went to get a granola bar and then the granola bar turned into making some eggs and then I made some bread and then I made some bacon and I had a whole breakfast meal. And it's 4 p.m. right now, so I weigh I weigh a lot, all right? <laughs> Anyways, let's collect my iron and let's make some buckets here because I'm gonna need a lot of buckets to collect these axolotls. So let's make a whole bunch. Use all 30 pieces of iron to make 10 buckets. And I think I need some tropical fish. That's what leers the axolotl lotos in so let's collect some water and try to get some fish here all right now that i have all these buckets of tropical fish let's go explore the ocean and try to find those axolotls and maybe some goats if i run into some whoa look over there i found the uh, amethyst block right on the edge of the ocean what the it looks like a portal look at that it looks pretty cool let's go uh, let's go grab some of them wow i could have done this the entire time the first episode, it took me forever to find this. All right, let's mine all of this up then. Oh, that's music to my ears. That sounds so nice. Sounds like Christmas. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any silk touch, so I might leave these uh, little crystals here. So when I do get silk touch, I can mine this up and make a farm. All right, I landed in a coral reef spot, and maybe I'll find some axolotls over here. I'm not even sure where they spawn, but I'm going to sit here and just uh, explore a little bit and try to find some axolotls. All right, the hunt for the axolotls aren't going that great. I don't see any signs of them. Maybe it'd be a good idea to like read the patch notes to see where they actually spawn, but I'm kind of stubborn, so let's keep uh, exploring and try to find them whoa look what i found i found a mesa biome i have never found one in a, such a long time my place is right over there in that direction so that is pretty awesome i can start building with some mesa blocks but unfortunately there's still no signs of axolotls oh my lord this is really big this is a really big mesa biome i'm not complaining though because i'm gonna mine up this entire mountain because uh i love using these blocks this is probably the most upright sunken ship i ever seen this is not even a sunken ship anymore it's just the ship there's literally no block that's in the water well i mean there's that but that doesn't even count um okay some buried treasure i'll take that what's in here Ooh, some emeralds some iron and that's about it oh my look at the amount of mobs over there just guard in the mesa bottom that is that is a lot of mobs but let's try to find oh no i hate these phantoms okay let's try to find this buried treasure so i'm over here i'm in the corner oh i think it's too far i, I just want to find the axolotls let's go no more distractions Ooh, there's a abandoned nether portal over here let's go check it out all right let's see what's in this chest um, a golden apple, a mending sword. I just need to mine that out and finish the top, but that's pretty finishable. There's even obsidian here I can use. But the nether portal is not my goal this episode. No way, I found another mesa biome. Are they supposed to be rare? There's two mesa biomes, like, basically beside each other. This one is just as big as well. With this amount of luck, I'm gonna have to find an axolotl soon. I just ran into an ice spike biome now. What is going on? I'm running into every single biome that I haven't seen before, but I cannot run into an axolotl. <gasps> is that an axolotl right there? What, what, what was that? What was that? Oh, those are just normal fish. Okay. All right, I'm having no luck finding an axolotl so i'm gonna explore the land and try to find a goat oh hey look at that i did find myself a snow village hello guys don't mind me i'm just here to uh steal all of your items i mean 
totally not steel i just want to you know check it out hello sir i'm gonna steal that blast furnace from you there i'm gonna return it um in two months maybe and i'll see you guys in another life <laughs> hey look it's paul gg right there if you guys watch my one block series you guys would know what i'm talking about all right i'm having a super hard time trying to find these goats i would assume they would spawn in the snowy like hill area but i don't see any signs of them where do goats in minecraft spawn it can be found in the mountain biomes is this not a mountain to you guys come on minecraft this looks like a mountain to me there are no signs of kobe bryant or tom brady anywhere oh right over here there's a pillager outpost i know this may sound really stupid but i have never done a raid before in minecraft oh my god there's so many of them okay i'm leaving i'm leaving i do not know what to do they're still chasing me this is quite a large village it doesn't look like any villagers are alive in here so i guess the pillagers just killed all of them like this guy all right let's keep hunting okay that looks like a hill to me guys bruh there is literally nothing there's nothing over here i might have found the most cursed sunken ship ever it's in lava right beside a snow biome right beside like a lukewarm ocean is that a goat oh that's a sheep what is hitting me all right i'm finding everything but a goat i found another village i've ran into at least like five villages a uh, ice biome, two mesa biomes, a desert, a savanna, everything. I ran into everything except a goat. Oh, is that what I think? Oh, yes. I finally found goats. Oh, my God. There's so many. There's even a baby goat. Look at him. Look how cute he is. He even has a beard. Okay, what do these goats do? Do they do anything special? Like, what do you do? Show, show me all your special moves. I literally ran like 10,000 blocks for you guys. Can I milk them? Let me put this fish down. I'm sorry, fish. You're going to have to... Uh, we got milk yes okay i don't feel any uh i don't feel any more special after drinking his milk i spent all that time finding a goat that does nothing whoa whoa, whoa. holy cow that goat is actually michael jordan all right they are literally useless wow i spent all that time finding these useless animals at least they're kind of cute though especially the baby ones they are pretty cute now let's try to find the axolotls all right i just watched a quick video on how to get an axolotl to spawn and this video told me they spawn anywhere they just spawn in water below y63 and there must be blocks over them so there's a light level of zero if that is true i'm gonna be kind of upset but i'm gonna test that out so i'm gonna mine this layer out so it's under y63 and i'm gonna put blocks over it to see if an axolotl spawns all right and there we go it's completely covered up and now we just wait until an axolotl spawns let's wait like 10 minutes and see and i'm gonna go for another snack because i am hungry not because i'm fat totally not the reason <laughs> All right, an hour later, um, after eating dinner and eating a whole nother meal, because I just weigh 450 pounds and I'm like Fat Albert, let's go check to see if there's any axolotls in there. Because if there's not, I'm going to leave and go get some ice cream because my girlfriend texted me to get some ice cream. Please, 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 please. Nice. I'll see you guys later. Time to get some ice cream. It turns out that axolotls now only spawn naturally underwater in caves. And I actually cannot feed them tropical fish. And I actually ended up finding an underwater cave right here. So this must be a new cave generation in Minecraft. Because I've never seen water caves like this. Whoa, what block is that? Is that lapis? That looks so different. I do not see any axolotls yet. But I have my bucket ready just in case I do. Surprise attack! Oh! Oh! Get off! Oh, there you go. Oh, I found diamonds right here. <laughs> what? That's my first diamonds. Oh, there's more diamonds over there. The diamond texture looks so different, though. Finally, my first ever diamonds of my hardcore world. Whoa, whoa, there's two glow squids right here. They sp Oh, there's three. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Did I kill them? What do you do with glowing ink sacks? Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys do with glow ink sacks? Okay, I'm so deep in the ground then. I'm like, why 13? I still cannot find any... Oh, there's, this is a big vein. Oh, there's more. Oh, how, ma how many was that? Seven? I I'm starting to believe that axolotls don't exist anymore, guys. I've been searching for hours on end. Literally hours. And I cannot find a single axolotl. Oh, my God. I ran into more di... Oh, my God. Okay, maybe, maybe this is worth it. Not finding axolotls for a lot of diamonds. I think that it is worth it. Where's the other ones over here? <gasps> oh, I found one. I found one. Is that, that's an axolotl, right? Yes. Oh, he's kind of ugly, though. He's brown. But oh, yes. 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 Oh, my God. That took so long. Now I just need to find a second one so I can start breeding them. But luckily, I am looking in the right spots. <gasps> oh, oh, is that is that a blue one? 
Oh, that, that looks pretty blue to me. Oh, I need a water bucket. Oh, he's going away. He doesn't want to be captured. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come back. Get in my bucket. Yes. I don't think he's the blue one. He looks like a cyan one. But, but let's go. I got two axolotls now. I can start breeding. That took me actually two full days to get these two axolotls. But now let's run all the way back home. I actually ran over 7,000 blocks to get here. So I'll see you guys once I get home. Actually, let me grab some more wheat first because I'm a hungry man. Oh, yes, I finally see my house. And I kind of I kind of started uh, that sound effect way too early. So nice seeing my bed, my kitchen. Oh, this is so nice. But I got my two axolotls. I got a whole bunch of tropical fish and 22 diamonds. So I think I'm going to make the axolotls home right here. So I'm going to blockade this area with some glass and maybe all throughout here. And this is where I'm going to breed all of the axolotls. Or I might just make a big glass cage so I can see them like right here. All 100 of them. That sounds pretty awesome. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of shovels. Well, only three. That's a, that's a whole bunch, I guess. And let's go find that desert bomb so I can get some sand for some glass. Hold up. Was I? Am I? Am I see? <gasps> Those are axolotls. Let me get my spyglass out. No way. There's literally axolotls right by my house. So you're telling me I spent two whole days riding 7,000 blocks to find axolotls when I could have found one right here. I just clowned myself. I'm a clown. All right, I couldn't find a desert, but I did find this island full of sand. So I'm just going to mine out this entire island. All right, I got a whole bunch of sand and I'm just going to smelt this all up. And now since I have to wait for the glass to smell, let's go get another meal. <laughs> what is this? The fourth meal of the episode? Oh man, I'm going to have a dad bod soon. I'll be right back. Oh, one burrito later. And this is all done smelting. Okay, perfect. Let's go make our box for the axolotls. Oh, what's up, man? You coming to visit my house? You just having fun in my water slide. <laughs> Wee. All right, but anyways, I think I'm going to make the uh, glass box um maybe like right here or something whoa he's going back for another turn oh my god <laughs> this guy's having too much fun in the water slide that is i've ne <laughs> that is so weird i'm gonna be shocked if he goes one more time what in the world is happening all right but anyways i'm gonna make the glass box right here and i'm just gonna breed as many axolotls as i possibly can all right this is the outline i got so far i'm hoping this will be big enough for at least 100 axolotls to be bred in I'm just going to make the walls around here. And that should be big enough, I think. That should be pretty good. All right, let's complete this giant box here. All right, and I used all of my glass already. That went by pretty fast. And this villager is still on my water slide. I'm so confused. I, I kind of want to try this now. It looks like he's having some fun. We. This is so much fun. All right, my sand is still smelting in my furnace, so you guys know what that means. Another meal. I'll be right back. Get my car keys, and I'm going to drive to McDo- Yo! You can't just barge- Yo, yo, yo. Yo, you can't just barge into my house like that and sleep on my bed after just using my water slot without asking? What is this? This ain't charity. Oh, my. All right, fine. You can stay. Look at his nose stick out of his head. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's a whole mountain. All right, anyways, I'll be right back. Oh, that was a good McDouble. Um, okay, I'm back. And I ran out of coal. Okay, that is freaking amazing. All right, time to go mine some more coal. Oh, no way. Is that a mob spawner? Yo, what? There's a mob spawner right here. Oh, a skeleton. Okay, this is a skeleton spawner. I can make a mob grinder with this spawner. I'm pretty sure my base is like right up here somewhere. But yeah, I'll do that in another episode, guys. I'll make a mob spawner and I'll bring it all the way back up to my base and make it super cool. All right, I am back. Oh, oh, yo, how did the zombie get in here? Did you kill my villager? Oh, he dropped iron, though. I mean, did where's my villager? Did he kill him? Where's my villager at? Okay, maybe my villager just ran back to his village, but hopefully he didn't die. But anyways, he got 60 coal. 
and that should be enough to smell all of the uh, sand that got left i have four stacks and six pieces of glass so that should be enough i think all right let's get back to building all right now i just gotta complete the top layer of glass but i need to put some water in here so let's grab some dirt here and make a big dirt platform for the water just like that and i just gotta mine this dirt away and cover up the top with glass Gotta go grab my axolotl buckets. Ow, what is hitting me? How do you get in here again? Grab my tropical fish so I can breathe them. And the sun is actually setting, so I'm gonna go to bed because I'm, I'm a tired guy. I ate too much food. Let's put down these axolotls. Hopefully, they don't suffocate in here and die because it took me way too long to get these guys. So let's place them down. Oh, okay, he's in there. He's in. Place this one down. Yes! I got two axolotls in here. Look at them. The cyan one looks like a girl and the brown one looks like a guy. Look at, look at them just like do the wave you know like you know when guys do the wave to impress the girl <laughs> that's exactly what he's doing so welcome guys welcome to your new home where you'll be trapped and uh bred like crazy <laughs> all right let's get my tropical fish i think you could breed them with this oh here we go and let's breed this one. Oh yes oh look at them look at them they're doing the wave oh yes there's a little baby brown one. But now since I have the axolotls inside their little home, I'm going to need a lot of tropical fish to breed them because I want to fill this entire tank until it's to the point where it's so overcrowded and overpopulated. So let's go hunting for some tropical fish. Oh, there's another axolotl here. Oh, come here, come here. This is a yellow one. Come here. Oh, let's go. Come here, come here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I didn't get him. Yes, I got him. I got the axolotl. All right. Hello, guys. I got you guys another friend. Hopefully, they don't fight. Oh, the yellow one's so cute. It reminds me of Pikachu. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're kind of like doing a weird dance. <laughs> okay. The main goal is to breed as many axolotls as I can and to get the blue axolotl, which is like a 0.08% chance of getting it. Can I, can I breed them again? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I need you. No, no. Come back. Come back, fish. No, no, no. Oh, they just killed my fish. Well, goodbye, fish. But while I wait for these axolotls to grow up so I can start breeding them again, I'm going to go explore the ocean and try to find some more axolotls so I can throw them into the tank. Oh, he's, kill he's killing a glow squid. No, he just killed it. Ugh. All right, that, that was a journey. That was a pretty long night. I got 11 axolotls. All right, so let's throw all the axolotls in my little home here. Oh my God. Look how many are in here already. It's looking so populated already. All right, so now the plan is to go collect a whole bunch of tropical fish and just breed all of these axolotls. And this guy is having a seizure. All right, I'll be back, guys. Oh my, look at all of those axolotls. Look at all those chickens. All right, guys, everybody drop some names in the comments and we're going to have to name every single one of these axolotls. I have no idea how I'm going to keep track of which one I'm breeding, but I'm just going to have to just right click all of them. All right, I think I bred all of the axolotls inside the little cage and there's just there's so many babies swimming around in there. There's so many. While I wait for all the axolotls to grow up, I'm going to start making a farm because I have no more food in my chests. Um, I think I'm going to make it. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where we're going to make it. I'll just start it off over here. So let's clear out all this grass here because I hate all this tall grass. And these villagers are raiding my house. Let's put some water down and let's start making the farm. While I'm farming, I would greatly appreciate it if all of you guys follow my Twitter and Instagram. So if you guys would like to get more in touch with me and know more of my personal life, go check them out in the description below. Thank you guys so much. Back to the video. All right, but this is my little farm. It's not too big, but I don't have uh, much else to plant. So this is what I got so far. And I need it to grow quick because right now I literally have no food in my chests. I'm starving out here. I'm also going to add some fences around the farm just so those villagers don't steal my potatoes because I, I see them. I, I see them scouting around my house. They think they're sneaky. All right. Now I think I'm going to AFK for about an hour. And once I'm back from being AFK for an hour, all these baby axolotls will be all grown up and I'll be able to breed them once again. All right. Time to AFK for one hour. All right, it's been about an hour and the crops have basically all grown. This is going to be my first ever watering trader trade. A small drip leaf. Where does this go? Okay, it doesn't go on grass. Does it go on water? Or beside water? Um, What do I do with this? Where do I put it? It looks kind of cool, though. 
Okay, um, does it go on dirt maybe? Okay. Oh, it does. Oh, is it like lily pads? Does it grow all the way to the top? All right, I'll check back on these drip leaves later and see if they grow or not. But let's harvest all of these potatoes here because uh, I'm pretty hungry and replant them all. And hopefully this will be enough potatoes to fill my entire farm. All right, nice with 55 potatoes to spare. All right, I'm going to smelt these potatoes up to make some baked potatoes. I'm not hungry anymore. And let's go check on these uh, axolotls. Maybe they have all grown up. Okay, they're all grown up. So I'm going to grab all of the tropical fish and start breeding them they already smell the fish look at them oh my god they're going crazy okay let me oh they're coming out no 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 get back in there get back in there I'm trying to escape i'm hoping we can get one of those blue axolotls because those are super rare there's some babies going around i don't see any blue ones though all right let's go grab some more tropical fish so i can start breeding them even more oh oh what the heck oh what the heck I just got ganged up by a pufferfish and a drown. He is a he is the one of those shell things though. I heard they are super rare or they're really good. I have no idea what they even do, but I read in my comments one time that these shells are really good. So I'm gonna keep it. And somebody in the comments tell me what's so special about these shells and what do they do? Cause uh, I have no idea. Thanks guys. Oh my God, look at it. there's an army of axolotls. There's so many. <laughs> it's a whole army oh my god one day i should let them all out on the land and just watch them follow me around that would be so funny a whole army of axolotls oh i should take them to an ocean monument with me just clear all of the guardians and everything all right i definitely need to do that stay tuned for that episode all right i just downloaded a texture pack that makes all of the water clearer and look at the well, look at the ocean man it looks so much better and you can see the axolotls way better Ooh, I should bring a drown up there. All right, I'm going to try to... Wait, does the drown come out of the water? I don't even know, actually. Okay, he does. I want to try to put a drown in there because the axolotls target drowns. Okay, come here, come here. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, I don't have any blocks. Okay, let me quickly grab some blocks. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm going to quickly grab some blocks here. I want to see the axolotls completely destroy that drowned. Okay, okay, let's go. It's feasting time, axolotls. Time to feast. Oh, he just fell. Come on, man. Come over here. Jump in. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Those axolotls destroyed that drown so fast. Holy. That was a murder. Oh, my God. That was actually murder. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are excited for future episodes, I'll be uploading a brand new episode every single Saturday. Also, please follow my Instagram and Twitter and join my Discord if you guys want to talk to me. I love you guys all so much and have a great day. Cookie Army in the comments, everybody.